I think I think we are live here, folks. I think hold on a second here. I'm gonna uh, mute my channel so my friends can talk on the Discord here. There you go. Okay. Anyway, so that can. Uh, so by the way, we are doing the simulcast with the Discord right now, and we have a couple of people joining us from Discord as well. And now we have a couple of people watching this afternoon. Uh, we're going to have some, so we are, uh, by the way, if you're brand new to the channel, welcome to the live streaming. Uh, uh, we don't have a, we don't have a format sake. So this is kind of like, you know, freestyle. Comes to my style is very free. Okay. It just make some videos, make some coffee and chit chat with you guys on live chat as well. Uh, obviously we have a, a Tristan say, Tristan have question. Okay. We have Davey sort of joining us as well. We, so we have a regular. So if you have any questions or comment, uh, I got my monitor set up in this corner here. It's not even a monitor. I got a big, you know, small TV here. So, yeah. And we just and, uh, have questions, let me know. Okay, we have uh, Scott Town Media. Scott Town Media. It's been, a, it's been a bit, buddy. It's been a bit. His, uh, his name is Justin. Big shout out to Justin. Hold on a second here. Uh, did you say you use a third way espresso and just use a hot pack? Uh, no, uh, not at all. So third way water has a two types of uh, package, right? One for espresso and one for the uh, filter coffee, the classic. So I, I use a classic uh, for the, my pour over, not for the espresso machines, okay? I use the, and then I, I cut that in half, okay? Trying to save some money. All right. Ideally, you want to use the full pack, okay? But I know a lot of people out there, you know, save save money by just use a half, just use that for four gallon. So yeah. Again, uh, you don't have to. I mean, if you want to do it right, just do the full pack. All right. It's about what buck for package, I think. So it ended up being like ten or eleven or twelve dollars for ten pack there inside. So a uh, half pack for gallon. Uh, I mean, ideally, you want to use a full pack for gallon, but um, half pack still better than still better than just regular filter water. So still better than uh, still better than nothing. All right, but if you want to save some money, I mean, that's a good way to go. Uh, so this afternoon's video, I'm going to be make some coffee with a fellow O Gen Two. Okay, has a Gen Two version in it. It's been around for a while. By the way, uh, fellow. Fellow O Gen 1, okay, in Amazon right now for selling for $199, guys. Okay, uh, their website uh, also selling for $199 as well. So I'm gonna put the link down below. Make sure to check it out. $199 is really good price for that grinder. And the Fellow O Gen 2, it's about $350. Okay, and the reason why we are going to brew with the Gen 2 today on Thursday, okay, we're gonna have a big showdown. All right. We're gonna do a big showdown with. Uh, so this is the Petro grinder, okay? So this one has a 58 millimeter flat version in it, and so this is made for brewing, just like O Gen 2, okay? It's about 450 bucks, actually 475, okay? Uh, from Espresso Parts. Shout out to Kevin, okay? And the uh, uh, 475 with the tax on it. You're looking at pushing. $500 per hand grinder, okay. Uh, $350 for the fellow Ojan 2 there. So this is a great. And um, if you want to switch out to MP birds, MP birds are very clean and very juicy uh, tasting birds. I mean, you know, I, I do really enjoy the MP birds. And MP birds, uh, you have to add another like 180 top of that 350. So. So it's about the same price, okay? If everything's said and done, hand grinder versus O Gen 2 is about the same price. So uh, we're gonna be having a big showdown on Thursday. But meantime, uh, uh, let's make some coffee. I I've been using uh, Petro for the last couple of days, so I'm very familiar with it. So old, I've been using it for a while as well, way back when. So let's just keep uh, brewing. Trying to get the right numbers, you know, trying to dial it in properly, have some right, you know, grind size. So, so hopefully we can have some fair comparison again. Uh, so we are doing on big showdown on Thursday. So Thursday should be fun. I'm going to have Sal 
uh, have a join us, okay? Have a join us, and then he's gonna be, I'm gonna brew it, and then he's gonna be the blind tester. So if you're gonna be doing uh, GP6 versus the uh, ghost bird from Cafe Sing, so that's the one bracket. And we're gonna do Ode Gen 2 versus the Pitro, all right? And then let's, let's hope, okay, so here's the ideal situation. I'm hoping, okay, Pitro is going to, I'm hoping uh, bet, a lot better than uh, Gen 2, okay? That's the ideal scenario. And the, the other side, Ghost Spur versus the uh, GP6 Spurs. That one is about, those grinders are about the same price, both $200. One from Amazon, one from uh, Easy Press Direct, Easy Press Directly. So it's gonna be a little tricky. Okay, so it's gonna be, that one is iffy, kind of like toss. And I usually do like 15 gram dose for all my coffee recipes, but we're gonna go large today. Okay, we're gonna go large. We're gonna go 20 gram, all right? And the 20 gram there. So it comes to brewing method. Uh, I'm hoping uh, it's gonna be kind of like last, uh, I need to figure it out at least by tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday, so I wanna figure it out by tomorrow. Uh, so we're gonna do converse, con shape or flat burr. So I'm, I'm using the flat burr today. I'm using the uh, MK Dripper from MK Studio. So yeah, we'll see. Okay, maybe maybe we do V60 on Thursday as well. So because it's been I've been watching for last it's been 20 minutes. So we should be all good to go. Uh, comes to water. Uh, I'm using the water from Oak Creek Canyon, guys. So that's the spring water from Oak Creek Canyon. Okay. So I got five gallons worth of uh, actual spring water from Oak Creek. So it has a pretty good minerals there. So it should be really good for brewing. And what else? I think we are good, right? Uh, let's brew some coffee here. Again, if you are joining us for the first time, welcome to live streaming. All right, hold on. And uh, I must say, uh, I must say the pitcher with a cup Timo. We can review it with cup Timo. I mean, that's fun. I mean, Cup Timo is a really good brewer. I know some of you out there, not big fan of it, but you know, I like it. Okay, I like it. MGS asking me, what basket am I using it? Uh, I'm not using any baskets today, but uh, if I'm gonna use it, it's gonna be high yield basket from Posada. Okay, high yield basket from Posada. All right, guys, let's brew. Okay, so that's brew time here. It's about what, 4.13 on Tuesday afternoon. By the way, so how many of you actually have a Gen 2 fellow oat at home? Let me know, okay. So this one has anti-static built in. I mean, it comes to grinder. I mean, I really enjoy this grinder. I mean, this is a solid, okay, grinder there. You know, you don't have to do RDT either, just Put the coffee beans in. That's it. After that, we got that knock box. You're done. Okay, really fast. That's it. And it takes what? A couple seconds? Compared to uh, Petro. 20 gram. It takes me about like 35 seconds to 40 seconds there or so. Uh, comes to ratio, let's do 1 to 15 ratio. Oh yeah, let's do 1 to 15. Uh, yeah, that, that's fine. I'm going to flip the camera here for... So let's get it going. All right, I think we are ready to go. Okay, uh, let's see here. So, 820 gram going in, 20 gram going out. Comes to retention is really low. Okay, I'm really enjoy using the Oat Gen 2 for a while. So, I'm gonna 1 to 15 ratio. So, 20 gram in, uh, I'm gonna add 300 grams of water. Uh, for the consi consistency, I'm just gonna be using my mellow drip. 
And then I'm going to start with 50 grams of water first. Start with that. I'm just going to wait about... I know there's a lot of different school of thought, okay? <clears throat> I know some people like to do uh, a, a wet WDT <clears throat> uh, with this recipe. I'm just going to just go, okay? I'm just going to go nice, easy flow without any hesitation, hesitation there. Instead of using 30 seconds, I'm just going to wait about a little longer today, okay? Maybe like almost a minute. I'm going to have a longer uh, blooming phase. Okay. I'm going to soak it. I'm going to add another. Comes the water temperature I'm using at 96 Celsius. So that's kind of like boiling temperature in Tucson. Again, if you are just joining us for the first time, now welcome to live streaming, folks. I wonder if I can zoom this in. Let's zoom it up for you. All right. Just gonna do another. Side to side. The brew time should be around three minutes. On the one side about two minutes and 30 seconds, I'm gonna do the final pull. Again, if you are joining us for the first time, uh, just make sure to join the live chat. Okay, just let me know you're new. There we go. We just wait. So this brewing method has a very minimal agitation, okay? Very, very minimal. So it should give you a very clean cup of coffee, for sure. The brew time should be around three minutes and 30, 40 seconds, maybe longer. Could be longer, we don't know. I'm just gonna flip the camera back. Okay, all right. Okay, here, let me. By the way, uh, let me know if you are brand new to the channel. Okay, we got some few people watching. Uh, just in case, if you guys have missed my live uh, session this morning, we made a delicious coffee with uh, a past due Starbucks coffee this morning. Okay, that was quite interesting. All right, we were they, uh, able to squeeze out some crema from past due Starbucks. So you know, it, it was it was good, it was good there. All right, I think uh, we are done. You know, just under four minutes. Okay, just under four minutes for the cup. Okay, uh, comes the tasting note here, guys: orange blossom, cranberry, oolong tea, and full body. Okay, which means full body. I'm just gonna shake a little bit. All right, folks, I hope you guys are having a wonderful Tuesday afternoon here. Happy Tuesday to you. Man, smells pretty good. Man, okay, I, it is a little flat, all right. Guess, um, 
maybe I'm going to use a cone shaped paper uh, tomorrow. Okay. With a flat bottom paper, and the flat paper just give you a very clean. Okay. But if you have some more texture to it, I feel like the cone shaped paper will give you that. All right. Okay. Uh, I'm going to, Joe is jo uh, joining us as well. Shout out to Joe. By the way, if you have any, any question with uh, DF grinders, yeah, Joe's the guy. Okay, Joe is the guy. He's the owner of Espresso Outlet. So yeah, if you have any question about that, his product, his customer service, make sure you let him know, okay? Make sure you let him know. If you're happy with him, let him know that as well. Hey, Joe, I'm still waiting for that 83 millimeter that, uh, lap sweet birds, buddy. All right. I'm still waiting for that uh, birds. Yeah. Okay, anyway, uh, drinking my fifth ice drip today. Yeah, Joe mentioned to me about uh, his new ice coffee drip machine there, so. Yeah, you know, some reason, I mean, I, I really like <clears throat> really hot coffee in hot weather, okay? Yeah, uh, I, I, I do really enjoy the hot coffee in the really, really hot weather, so. But don't get me wrong, I mean, ice should be very nice as well, but yeah. Okay. So, I mean, this cup is very, very pleasant, okay? I cannot wait, okay? I cannot wait to compare that with back-to-back, -back, okay? Back-to-back. -back. So, back-to-back -back with a fellow oat. Uh, Joe said, patent pending ice dripper coming soon. Okay, good. Okay, we got Dylan is joining us as well. <clears throat> Dylan from Express Bar. Hold on, Blunt T say, just walk out before one degree here. Yeah. Uh, Dylan said, it's amazing. Uh, he, he likes the ice maker, ice dripper. Of course, he has to say that, okay? He worked for Joe at uh, Espresso Outlet, so. Yeah, of course, he's gonna love it. All right, let's see here. By the way, if you have any questions or comment, uh, let me know, okay? I, uh, I have uh, my monitor set up, so I can see all your questions there as well. Okay. All right, so Dylan and uh, Joe said, Dylan and I and Shaky from all the testing. Good. Okay, hold on a second. Time for who to travel the country. Uh, so far, I think I covered the West Coast well, but I do want to cover the East Coast. They got some great coffee shop in the uh, East Coast. Okay. Yeah. They have a lot of great coffee. But by the way, there's so many great coffee uh, roasters out there as well. So, yeah, I mean, if you're into specialty coffee, if you're into specialty coffee, if you have some money on your pockets, you're going to drink some amazing coffee lately. Okay. But coffee is a very expensive hobby. <clears throat> it, it is expensive hobby, but still compared to cheaper than, you know, buying a sports car or a motorcycle or a bicycle hobby. But I mean, it is, I mean, it is pretty uh, pricey hobby, all right? It's very lonely hobby as well. If you ask me, it's very lonely, okay? I mean, luckily, you know, I can share that with you guys, but, you know, I know a lot of uh, my friends out there drinking coffee by themselves at home. Yeah, it can be lonely. Yeah, uh, I must say, very lonely, yes. You know, that's true. Unless you have a lot of friends. It is fun to share with your friends, but I don't know how many friends you have, you know, come over on, you know, on a weekend. Hey, why don't you come hang out? Uh, we, we're going to drink some coffee. Yeah, it's not quite the same, guys. It's not quite the same. Okay. I mean, that's why this is like one of those hobby that, yeah, hold on a second, yeah. Okay, so Jesse say, I, I don't find it lonely personally. It's like a solitude for me. I think that's true, okay? For me, is making coffee is like, kind of like my ritual in the morning because I love the step and process, all right? And uh, you, you just, you know, make yourself a nice cup of coffee. Um, because, I mean, some people like to, some people like to drink coffee, right? Because of caffeine. And the people like us, I mean, we like to drink the coffee. You know, we do enjoy the coffee, but the, the process of making coffee. All right. So, yeah. Uh, Blunty says, should we make espresso chai? Oh, we have that already. 
Volante, uh, come join us on our Discord there. Uh, we have, I mean, mainly our, you know, our friends at the Discord, they don't care about us. They don't care about, about pour over coffee, okay? They are into our espresso, right? So I think if you come into our Discord, I think you're gonna have a great time, okay? Great time there. We talk about coffee all day, every day. Uh, I'm, I'm going to put the link, okay? When I'm done, I'm going to put the link on the comment section. I'm going to pin it, okay? So you are going to see it. And then you can just, just join us. Just hang out. And uh, we do a lot of video chat as well. Video chat, so... I mean, if you see uh, my name on it, just pop in and say hello. If not, just pop in, okay? If you see some guys there. We have somebody there all the time, okay? All the time. Uh, where's the Java Jake today? Java Jake usually uh, in the chat room at the Discord as well. So let's see here. Anyway, uh, back to fellow O Gen two. I mean, that's. I mean, I cannot wait. I cannot wait. Uh, compare that to uh, Petro versus the Old. Uh, it should be really good. Okay. I'm. Mean, it's better be. I'm, I'm hoping for Petro on Thursday because Petro is about close to 500 bucks. O Gen 2, uh, 350 bucks. Huge difference in price, all right? But if you're gonna put the MP birds in it, push it up to, you know, or, I mean, close to, you know, uh, $500. So, you know, about the same price range after that. So I'm hoping it's gonna be significantly difference in the taste there, uh, you know, but we'll see, who knows. All right, so we are going to get the right uh, coffee and just right combination that you know, you know, both grinder can shine. Okay, we have a uh, we have uh, N Yang. I used to drink, okay, drink for the caffeine, but now I love the making one good. Except my, yeah, you know, except my hubby prefers instant coffee. You know what? Some instant coffees are fantastic though. Have you tried the uh, like Korean instant coffee? Man, I I'm telling you, Korean instant coffees are awesome, okay? That's one of my favorite. Okay, so I must say MP makes that O, oh, F22 Raptor, good. Hold on a second here, we have uh, MGS, say P-O-T-U. What, well, uh, okay, well, 212, what's the P-O-T-U? P-O-T-O. Hold on, flat burr uh, from AliExpress. Okay, flat burr hand grinder. Yeah. You know what, I don't know about hand grinder though. I mean, flat burr hand grinder, I don't know, you saw me struggle the other day. Takes forever, okay. Yeah, I mean, again, I mean, don't, I mean, don't, don't waste, uh, don't waste money on flat burr grinder for espresso, okay, guys. It's not, it's not pleasant. Okay, I mean, unless if you make one or two cup a day by yourself, you know, that makes sense, but if you are planning on making regularly, man, uh, that's gonna be tough. Okay, that's tough. That's too much work. And so whenever you buy brand new bag of coffee, you gotta you, you got dial it in anyway. That takes a long time as well, so. Again, if you're into espresso with, with a like medium to dark roast, you know, I recommend a, a conical, okay? Conical style, hand grinder. Uh, if you're into very light roast, uh, kind of a fruity tasting notes, okay, flat but might be, you know, performs well. So it's all dependent on what you like though. It's all dependent on what you like, all right. It's a good clean coffee, okay? It does well. All right. Music say hand grinding like uh, light roast is yeah. It's it's like your upper body exercise, right? It's a lot. You know that's good. Good for you. Yeah, it's good for you know good for your body. Get your body moving in the morning. Uh, that's fantastic. All right. So anyway, so a big uh, Thursday. We got a big day coming up on Thursday. Uh, we're gonna start about nine o'clock in the morning on Thursday. Yeah, uh, we're gonna start early maybe eight or nine, and then wait for sale. We're gonna set it up, we're just gonna go right into it. it it's not, yeah, it's, it, it should be fun, okay? It should be a lot of fun. 
and then we're going to have some pick up some nice coffee for the competition there in the bracket challenge yeah i mean we'll see i think i'm, I'm hoping okay i'm hoping to kind of like the yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes all right hold on a second here uh, what else i think we are good are we good here guys uh, it's gonna be a short session today uh joe asked me uh, who has uh tried the brent's hiva coffee Hiva coffee. I don't know what Brit. I have not tried it yet, Joe. Yeah. I have not tried it yet. Okay, we have a uh, Gail Gail Chan HD. Have you tried the Next Level Pulsar? Uh, Next Level Pulsar is their their latest model. So Next Level is pretty large. Okay. I mean, you gotta use you know 30, 40 gram dose. I'm mean, so it's not a it's not a single dose. It's not a single you know, serving option. So the Pulsar is a smaller. So yeah, I mean, uh, I mean that's I have not tried it yet, but you know, looks very interesting. I know a lot of people wants to try. Yeah, uh, that's for sure. Okay, I think. Uh, again, uh, if you are joining us for the first time, uh, let me know uh, if you are a first timer. All right. If you're a first time, let me know. We've got about 30 people watching right now. Yeah. Uh, we've got friends from all over the world watching it. Yeah. What do you guys think? Who's the winner is going to be? Yeah. Any? Congo. Okay. Congo Hivi. Hiva. Hold on. I think I have a copy from Congo from Brent. Oh, yeah. I got it right here, Joe. Yeah. Uh, this is great. I've been making it every single day. Yeah, great for espresso and also a uh, milk-based drink, special milk-based drink. They're fantastic. Uh, great tasting note, dark chocolate, uh, brown sugar, and red currant. Yeah. I got a coupon code, guys. I have a, cup a cup com uh, coupon code for the Good Brothers Coffee. I mean, if you guys are watching my channel, you know, I use a lot of Brent's coffee from Good Brothers, so yeah. You know, he, be, uh, he usually give you guys good uh, discount as well. He's a good guy. Okay, just like Joe. Okay. All right. Okay, hold on. We have uh, somebody anime anytime. Say first timer. Good. Watch some videos. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you know what? You know, we go. I go so many lives every day. And I mean, it gets. It gets old, okay? Some people, I know. Some people get too old, but, you know, the fact is we make coffee every day, right? But w every time I go live streaming, you know, I learn something new every single day, okay? I learn, uh, learn, uh, learn something new every day. We have a friend from New York, Tim Chi. First timer from New York there. First timer. Welcome, okay? Welcome to our live streaming. Yeah, I mean, again, it's very casual, okay? I'm not, my live streaming is not like any other, you know, YouTube channels, you know. You know, we are just kicking back, you know, while, uh, watch some, yeah, just watch some videos, hang out. We're going to do some reaction, yeah. I mean, this is, the, this is why I don't get burned out, okay. If you watch a lot of YouTubers, they get burned out quick, okay. Man, I mean, that's a lot of work. I mean, I, I don't know about you guys, but if you watch, uh, let's say, James Hoffman's video, or especially James Hoffman, they put, he put a lot of effort into his production, okay? That's why he got so many views, all right? You know, every time he posted, you know, three, four hundred thousand views every single time, you know, because he has a production value, right? So, I mean, he does really great work. Hey, by the way, who, you know what? We got some, about 30 people watching right now. Okay. Yeah. If you got 30 people watching, who is you or the favorite? Okay. Favorite YouTuber. Coffee YouTuber. Yeah, let me know. Let me know in the comment section there. Who is your favorite coffee YouTuber? Yeah. Let me know in the comment section, the, the live comment section. Uh, Tim Chi say, I like your format. Yeah, I mean, you know, my formats are fine. Okay, uh, do not mention me, okay? Okay, besides me. I know some people, you know, does like me, but yeah. 
Yeah, other than me. All right. Yeah, so, yeah, so let me know who that is. Okay, I think James, yep, James, uh, James Hoffman is obviously. But thinking about the James Hoffman, James Hoffman used to be really interesting, if you ask me. But lately, I mean, his videos are, man, just, it's a lot more entertaining than before. Okay. Uh, sh uh, shout out to Roaster Cat. We've got Lance, okay. I mean, ask me, would you interview with someone in a near future? Yes, I'm going to have, uh, I'm trying to have uh, uh, Josh from uh, Alternative Brewing again, come on again, uh, hopefully next week. I'm gonna, okay, I, I'm going to have Josh on. Josh just got a Commandante Barracuda C60. Okay, he just got it. He's a only, he's a, one of few people in the world have that grinder. So I'm going to have Josh on next week. Uh, we're going to talk about the Commandante Grinder, so it should be a lot of fun, okay? Uh, yeah, I cannot wait. Okay, and then what, who else? Not sure I have a favorite. I'm watching all of them. Yep. Uh, so one of my favorite, uh, the YouTuber was the uh, Chris Baca. I don't know how many people remember Chris, okay? How many remember Chris way back when? Uh, he does, I mean, he did really interesting videos. I really enjoy his content way back when. I, I don't think he's not doing that anymore. Yeah. At the time, you got James Hoffman, we got Chris, and then we have uh, uh, Prometheus at the time as well. Yeah. And then, and I don't know what happened to Chris. I, I, think, I think he's still around, but yeah. So now we have, uh, obviously, Lan uh, James is he's become another level okay he's he's the next level yeah and for now we have a lance out there we have lance does really good work i think morgan drinks coffee makes yeah that's right morgan uh drinks coffee that's another coffee youtuber she's a huge on the TikTok there uh, she makes a really interesting video yeah and uh, who else yeah i think uh, still work with cat and cloud okay Okay, and uh, uh, focus more on the business and personal development stuff. Okay, yeah. I feel like everybody doing the personal development stuff lately, right? Whenever you watch uh, YouTube or Instagram, uh, this, uh, you know, these are videos with a very inspiring music with people talking about personal growth. Goodness, yeah. Very inspiring. Sounds wonderful. I feel like I have to get up, doing some push-ups after that. Okay. Hold on. Okay. MGSA, uh, only who drinks espresso straight. Uh, you know what? Uh, after this week, uh, let's spend some more time on espresso, okay? All right. Yeah, I, I, I think, yeah, I think we need to, okay? Hold on. We got uh, notice, notice lack of FIMS mention. Uh, I, I don't know what that is. What's FIMS? What's FEMS? Yeah. Yeah, what's FEMS there? I mean, I know a lot of people are using the abbrevi uh, abbreviation lately. Okay. But let's see here. Uh, let's see here. What else? I, hold on a second here. Uh, Jack from Mike. Yeah, Jack is a funny guy. Okay. I had him on a while back, yeah. Man. Jack is pretty cool. Uh, check out the Amnil Capote, okay. Amnil from Miami. He does really uh, uh, very personal uh, YouTube as well, the coffee channel. Yeah, Jack. I mean, Jack has a lot of toys. I hope Jack has a full time job, okay. I hope, yeah, because he's buying, I, he, he's buying a lot of grinders. I saw him with the Capitec Max and a MC5. Yeah, he has a lot of toys. Uh, hold on. Uh, Aramse, yeah, uh, he's great as well. Yeah, he makes awesome videos. I mean, these guys, you know, Aramse makes awesome, beautiful video. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does good. Uh, Emily, that's right, let's not forget Emily for Latte Art. 
also another fantastic uh, high quality videos as well yeah the making videos are hard okay I, that, that's the reason why I, I kind of like give up on it okay yeah uh, and I give up on the editing video too much work that's why I'm kind of like opted into the live streaming you know just get to the point you know hang out with you guys instead yeah I mean if I'm gonna make video about this it takes not even five minutes okay maybe maybe five yeah maybe four minutes tops but I can drag it you know I mean but if I if you're doing the live sessions I mean you know we can talk for 30 40 minutes just hang out there yeah uh, Dan say I'm the couple yeah I mean good and grow and again uh, as long as you stick with uh, YouTube channels, right? I mean, if you're planning on making a YouTube channel for yourself, uh, just keep posting, okay? All right? Just have some fun with it. Just keep doing it. The key is not, burn, not burning out, okay? You have to just keep plugging in. That's it. Eventually, people are going to find you. Eventually, all right? So, I mean, like, just to make the video what you want to make, you know, because you cannot please everybody. Billions of people watching, guys, billions of people watching videos every single day. Billions. Okay. Yeah, yeah you cannot please everybody. Just, you know, yeah, just don't make the video you want. All right. Yeah. All right, hold on a second here. Uh, uh, Christian said the live stream format is very, yeah, it, it is fun. Okay. Uh, hope, you know, hoping, I'm, I'm, I'm planning on upgrade my uh, video quality. Hopefully soon. I've been saying that for the last couple of years now, but okay. I mean, I need to have a faster upload speed, but my internet speed is pretty uh, pathetic in Tucson. So we're not there yet. I wish I had a fiber. Hold on a second here. And, uh, uh, and he said, uh, you, get, you get to see some of the latest, apps, uh, absolutely latest stuff. Uh, yes and no, uh, because some people get the latest uh, gadgets anyway, but yeah. I mean, I like to ask people to get the latest gadgets. Okay. I'm at, say, Brew by J. Uh, Steve, shout out to Steve. Uh, so Steve is an old timer, by the way. S Steve is doing uh, YouTube videos for years through Prima Coffee, so yeah. Uh, I mean, yeah. I mean Steve's doing making videos for goodness, I don't know how many years. Okay, hold on a second here. Anytime, and I mean anytime, so as a former photographer, I think professional lighting would be helpful. Yes, definitely lighting is definitely helpful. But yeah, definitely a new camera for sure. Yeah, I mean lighting is everything in making videos. That's why whatever you can see me in the morning session, I have a natural light come um, back from the back side. So my, you know, lighting is quite nice, I have to say. Okay. You know, but uh, with, I got my microphone on, so sound quality should be decent. Okay. All right. I think uh, that Jesse said, yeah, I mean, you know, again, some people, like, some people like Jesse, interaction. You know, I wish we have the kind of like the actual video conference, okay, to, you know, we can actually hang out there. But the thing about uh, my format, you know, again, my channel is not that big. There's only 30 people watching right now, so I can see all your comments, okay? So we can actually interact. Um, if you go to some live streaming, has like three, 400 people on, those comments, the chat is go up so fast, okay? You can't even see it, okay? You can't even see it, it's crazy, all right? And the Dan said, virtual coffee live is good. Uh, I mean, that's kind of like what I want to be going future, okay? I have enough equipment, Okay, in that stuff. But so we can, you know, you guys can ask, hey, Hun, can you try this? Okay, let's try that. You know what I mean? Uh, which kind of different combination? I think we are almost there. Okay, we are almost there. I mean, we have enough. I have enough uh, grinders and, you know, enough gadgets on hand here. Yeah, so I think we can make some. Uh, fun comparison and if you have any question about particular grinder if you want to know you're not quite sure about it yeah 
hold on a second here. Carlos said, might be better at switcher 1080p. But 1080, 1080, is, 1080p is great, but you have to have an upload speed, all right? You have to have an upload speed to accommodate that. I think my upload speed I checked last time is about 5 megabits per second. 5 meg. That's pretty pathetic, right? Yeah. yeah 5 meg is not going to cut it. All right. So. Uh, we get there someday. All right. Okay, so Joe say, what camera you are looking at? So this isn't a camera, Joe. This is my old iPhone, Joe. Okay. This is my old iPhone. It's set up right there. And I got my uh, monitor set up right here, so yeah, that's why you, you see me looking away a little bit. All right, hold on a second. Christian say, Coffee Chronicle is often better. Yeah, I mean, he spent a lot of time on his gadgets too. Yeah, I think he's not from here though. Uh, no, for the, Joe say, no, for the new one. What new one? Yeah. Uh, which camera are you? Oh, no, no. I'm, I'm not looking at any cameras. Okay. You have to have a good internet connection so I can set it up properly, but yeah, someday. We get there. Uh, I must say, uh, Sony is pretty nice, right? Uh, what's, what's like an A6 or A7? Is that 810? I don't know. Uh, Sony is, I have uh, their first year, I have an A1, okay? I got down 2007. I'm still using it time to time. Yeah. Uh, since I'm in the technology world, okay, I mean, as you can see, I own a small computer shop here. I don't know, I'm not a big, I'm not a big into tech, okay? Yeah. I'm fixed computers all day long, so. I want something simple, you know, get the job done. All right. I mean, most of my computers are, I'm using it right now, you know, my personal computer is about seven years old. I'm not a big fan of the, the latest technology. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I think we are good for this afternoon here. It's almost 5 p.m., guys. It's almost 5 p.m., but I know down under in Australia, it's about early in the morning as well. But yeah, uh, we're going to have some fun. Okay, we're going to have some fun on Thursday. I cannot wait. Okay, I cannot wait to do some fun comparison. So. Blanti said, yeah, nine, yeah, almost 10 o'clock, 10 a.m. I must say, 3 a.m. over there. Come on, buddy, what are you doing? Okay, 3 a.m. Yeah, some people, you know, just stay up all night. All right. Yeah, that's, uh, I mean, that's, you know, that's, some people do. Okay, some people stay up all night and they sleep during the day. Yeah. Okay, folks, I think uh, I'll be back tomorrow morning. Uh, we're going to brew with, tomorrow morning, yeah, we're going to, let's play with the ghost bird tomorrow morning, okay? Let's p uh, play with the ghost bird tomorrow morning, and then maybe uh, play with the B60 instead of a, uh, a flat bottom brewer. Yeah, so let's, yeah, let's play some more coffee tomorrow. All right, okay, folks, I hope you guys are having a wonderful day, morning and evening and afternoon, and I'm going to see you guys tomorrow.